In southern West Java, I have seen hundreds of fiberglass boats. They are light and affordable. But to me, they are fragile, cannot handle rough weather. But in northern Jaffa, I see that fishermen mostly use wooden boats. It could be thousands of them. These boats use a lot of timbers. No wonder our forests in Jaffa really not much left. For hundreds of years, the way people making boats, to me, safety and environment friendly should be put on the top priority. I always think those boats are just like floating plates. When the weather gets rough, lots of water may come in, they will just sink. We've got to do some other way around. Build a boat which is unsinkable. So then, let's try some simple experiment with some HDPE pipes. First, heat up the inside of the pipe for a certain period of time, then press it diagonally. Pressure should not be too strong and let the melted HDPE inside the pipe stick together. Repeat the same way at the other end of the pipe, then cut the pipe 45 degree in both ends. Apply the same method to the smaller pipes. And now we have all the parts completed. Assemble it with the rubber band and bring the tiny boat to the poolside to give it a try. Now we have the prototype of a small unsinkable boat which is environmentally friendly. I think one day all the shipyards might consider to put some air chamber inside cruise ships. Just in case something happened, it will stay float and saving lives. I think I have to produce a real unsinkable boat to prove it. So switch on pipe making machine, turn on heaters to heat up all heating elements in the extruder and mold, put in HDPE materials. Now the whole range of machine is working. Then we cut a suitable piece of pipe to make boat's main floating part. Heat up the inside of pipe in one end. Press it for a perfect seal. Then you see the hydrodynamic shape achieved. But fusion the other end of pipe with cone shape HDPE. We made our own molds for parts and use injection mold machine to produce parts we need. We then start up wood polyethylene compound machine to produce sidewall of boats and other water resistant boats that could be needed in boat making. We started the assembly, electrofusion, hot air gun combined with mini extruder to attach sidewall support securely on the pipe. Sidewall being attached to the pipe and sealed by mini extruder. This is how the inside of the boat looks like. All other parts seems quite ready now. It is time for technician to fix the double engine base. At this moment the boat is ready for transporting to our starting point, Banyuwangi. We are now in Bangstring village of Banyuwangi in East Java. We plan to start expedition from here, across Bali, direct to Lombok, and back to Bali in the same day. Early morning, the boat is ready for the whole day cruise. We must set out early for a 180 nautical miles journey, as the whole expedition will take up more than 10 hours. We 
are now at the north part of Bali, somewhere just past Singaraja. Cannot see holy Mount Agung because it is covered by clouds. Approaching Bangsal of Lombok. Refuel the boat and have a quick lunch here. Try to make up times back to Bali. By late afternoon, we arrived in Bali, entering a small lagoon of my villa in Tulamben. This expedition is a kind of experiment. We then could build a better shape of Jukung with less splashing. With its unsinkable feature, it made us feel so secure cruising with it. The new boat now equipped it with double four-stroke engine for less noise and better fuel economy. After making Jukung, we naturally could develop some kind of catamarans which is good for public transportation in small islands. This catamaran is built specially for lobster farming as commercial dive boat and as working platform. We specially produce some kind of very rich catamarans that is widely used by team of Indonesian National Board for Disaster Management. Thank you for watching.